Hey, hello guys, welcome back. So in this video session, we are going to discuss about our live project 2 and that we are going to set up with the Jenkins in the Azure DevOps using the YAML CACD pipelines. So this project will help us to understand how we can integrate the Jenkins in the Azure DevOps and how the Azure DevOps pipeline will trigger the Jenkins automatically to deploy the war file into the Tomcat server. So let's understand this project from the scratch and then, we'll, then we will implement this project step by step. So we know there are some developers who are working to develop these applications and they are writing the code in the different type of the programming languages. Okay, Java programming language, ASP.NET, any programming language they are writing the code on the daily basis and after that they are pushing the code to the one source code management repository. So here we are using the source code management repository as a Azure repo. The Azure repo is a services provided by the Azure DevOps and where we can keep our source code. This is like the GitHub, Bitbucket and any other source code management repository and developer will push the code and for to push the code they are using the git commands from the local system to the remote server they are pushing the code and they are creating the dot git repository azure repos and in this git repository they are pushing the code now once we have the code in the azure repository then we are going to set up the jenkins ci server as we all know that the jenkins is a ci server that will perform the continuous integration task. So first we need to set up the Jenkins and to set up the Jenkins, I am going to create the AWS EC2 instance Linux machine. And on this Linux machine, I am going to set up the Jenkins CI server. Once my CI server is set up, then I am going to access this Jenkins through the web URL. So we can access the Jenkins by the 8080 port number on the web and in that web portals I am going to configure some Jenkins configurations and going to create some jobs and the task. So the first job I am going to create in the Jenkins to pull the code from the Azure repository. Okay, This times I am not going to integrate the Azure repository directly into the pipelines. I am going to integrate into the Jenkins okay and the Jenkins directly will pull the code from the Azure repository for our project that we have the demo project that you can fork in your github account once the Jenkins will pull the code from the Azure repository then we need to build the code and to build the code, we need a build management tool that we call as the Maven. So we need to set up the Maven on the Jenkins CI server. And also we need to set up the global tool settings on the Jenkins web UI. So here is the some things that we are going to set up. So first I'm going to set up the Maven, then uh, the Git repo locations and then JDK install. So I need to set up these three things first on the Jenkins CI server. And after that, we will create a one task to check the code is pulling to the Jenkins or not. So once it is done, then uh, we are going to work with the Azure DevOps. So in the Azure DevOps, if you want to integrate the Jenkins, you need to create the two things. The first is the service connection. So when we create the service connection, the Azure repository can communicate and talk to the Jenkins server. And this is kind of the linking between the Azure DevOps and the Jenkins. So to connect these two tools, we need to create the service connection in the Azure DevOps. Second is we need to create the service hooks in the Azure DevOps. So service hooks basically will help us to trigger the build to Jenkins to deploy the war file automatically whenever someone commit the code to the Azure repository. So we will set up the service hooks and how we can set up in the Azure DevOps for the Jenkins server that we will see in this section. So once these two things are set up, service connection and the service hooks, then the Jenkins will run and it will create the dot .war files and the Jenkins will deploy the dot .war file to the Tomcat server. In this case, 
I need to go to the Jenkins. I need to create a one job and I need to trigger the build. And after that, only the Jenkins can deploy the work file to the Tomcat server. But here we are working with the Azure DevOps CI/CD pipelines using the YAML pipeline format. That how we can achieve that. To overcome these situations, what I am going to do, I am going to create the YAML CI/CD pipelines in the Azure Pipeline Services. And this YAML CI/CD pipeline will configure the service connection, service hooks, and the Jenkins server. And when we run the Jenkins pipelines on the agent machine. on the aws ec2 linux machine that is our tomcat server machine because this is a self hosted agent machine and on that i am going to deploy the war file so it should be our agent machine so on that agent i am going to deploy my dot war files so now i'm when we run the ci pipelines in the azure pipeline section it will take the connection details from the service connection and it will check the service hooks for the jenkins and after that it will call to the jenkins once it call to the jenkins the jenkins will immediately pull the code from the azure repository and after that it will build the code with the help of the maven and it will deploy to the war file to the tomcat server now here i no need to come to the jenkins web ui and to build the code and to start the job at the jenkins this process we are trigger through the yaml cicd pipeline so yaml pipelines will help us to trigger the jenkins to deploy the war file on the tomcat server now this is the manual process now what if i want to trigger automatically so in that case i am going to configure the trigger and the trigger we will configure in the yaml pipeline so, so when i enable the continuous integration trigger in the pipeline then whenever developer will push the code to the azure repository the ci trigger will call and when the ci trigger will call it will call to the ci pipeline to run so and the ci pipeline will run and it will check the service connection and the service hooks and it will call to the jenkins and jenkins will pull the code from the azure repository the latest code whatever the developer is push the code and then this it will build the code through the maven and after that it will deploy the war file to the tomcat server so this is the whole process i am going to explain step by step in every videos and definitely you will come to know the idea how we can deploy the war files using the jenkins to the tomcat server and how to integrate the azure devops in the jenkins in the real time project system okay so now let's uh, switch to the demo